Prime Minister Boris Johnson will revive the system of business councils used by his predecessor to advise on issues facing the economy as Britain prepares to leave the European Union. Johnson has pledged to take Britain out of the EU at the end of October, regardless of whether he can secure a transition deal to avoid trade disruption, which is the worst-case scenario for many businesses. The government, led by former Prime Minister Theresa May, last year created five business councils who would meet about three times a year, twice with the Prime Minister and once with the Senior Minister. They helped provide policy recommendations. Johnson looks forward to continuing the drive forward the work of the business councils over the coming months, a spokesman for the Prime Minister said. The PM wants the UK to be the best place to start, to grow and run a business. There's no better way to understand important issues affecting the UK business environment and its competitiveness than speaking to employers themselves. The structure of councils will remain under Johnson's new business advisor, former Sky Finance chief Andrew Griffith, according to the Financial Times, which first reported the news. The expected growth in air travel passenger numbers could halve due to climate change fears, according to new research. Swiss bank UBS surveyed more than 6,000 people from the UK, US, Germany and France about their flying habits and found the rise of flight shame seems to be spreading. More than a fifth of those surveyed said they had intentionally reduced the number of flights they took over the last year. Whilst just 16% of British travellers claimed to be cutting back, 24% of Americans said climate change had convinced them to reduce the number of flights they took. There has been a marked increase in the number of people purporting to be curbing their flying habit since the survey was first conducted in May 2019. Attention-grabbing protests from climate change activism group Extinction Rebellion, which has targeted the aviation industry in the past, have also raised awareness of the issue this year. If UBS's forecasts are correct, it could result in aircraft orders dropping by 110 per year. It comes as even airlines are committing to tackle climate change, this summer, Dutch carrier KLM encouraged passengers to fly responsibly. While just 16% of British travellers claimed to be cutting back, 24% of Americans said climate change had convinced them to reduce the number of flights they took. Wherever you are based in the world, you can work effectively in London with a virtual office. Hold Everything can help cut your carbon footprint and save you money.